This will likely be a last of our DJI Osmo Action 4 test before we totally return the faulty unit and ask for a refund due to hot pixel issues. We bought the camera new, got multiple hot pixels during long exposure time lapse shots, and was refused a one to one exchange by reseller. Instead, we got referred to DJI Store and was told it will be a four to six weeks wait for a warranty claim. Although a loan unit was issued, it too have a few hot pixels during long exposure. So we decided to take back our unit and initiate a return and refund under the online purchase protection. In the following video tests, we wanted to push the noise levels to see at which ISO is acceptable for us, and to see the frame rate versus shutter relation in order for the rock steady to work the best without the motion blurring. This first test shot is mounted on car top. For K25P, ISO 800, 1 over 50 shutter. The initial parts, our exposure was a bit over. This shot, we changed to a rear view mount, for K25P, ISO 1600, 1 over 50 shutter speed. In both tests, the stabilization seemed to work great, and the motion blurring isn't as bad as we thought it will be. The noise levels at ISO 1600 seem to be very acceptable for us. We'll be pushing at higher ISO settings and varying the shutter speeds as we go along. While checking out the footage, we want to rant about the hot pixel issues. So far, we've gotten another owner who came back with their own test. She mentioned that there are indeed hot pixels during long shutter exposures with their units too. Instead of doing a time lapse, the quickest and simplest test is to use photo mode, set the camera to ISO 100 for the least sensor noise, set a long exposure timing of about 10 to 30 seconds, cover up the lens and take a still picture. Let us know if your unit have the problem too. The rest of the shots are all taken during a walk jog to test out how and when the motion blurs will occur. ISO 12800, 1 over 50. The noise level at this ISO very obvious, and it will be something that we will avoid if possible. We can also start to see the slight jittery effects in the bright and hotspot areas. ISO 6400, 1 over 50. The noise level at ISO 6400 seemed to be acceptable, so perhaps we will limit ourselves to this settings for night scenics. The jitter seemed to be happening at every bump in the steps we make. ISO 6400, 1 over 25. Cranking the shutter speed down to 1 over 25 to gain a stop of light seemed to make the jitter during movement even more prominent. ISO 3200, 1 over 50. At this settings, the image response seemed to be quite comparable to our DJI Pocket 2 camera. Image is still clean, the noise level is more subtle. ISO 3200, 1 over 25. Now for these light conditions, going further below ISO 3200 will seem to get very dark. We like the image quality at ISO 3200, but running at 1 over 25 for better exposure, the jitter and motion blurring is quite obvious. ISO 1600, 1 over 50.
ISO 1600, 1 over 25. At this point in our test, we definitely avoid shooting at 1 over 25 shutter speeds as the jitter and image blurring is unacceptable for our preference. ISO 800, 1 over 50. At ISO 800, the response is a bit too dark for our preference. ISO 800, 1 over 25. It seems like going 1 over 25 in low light conditions is not happening for us. Too much jittering during movements. Here, we crank it back up to ISO 12800, 1 over 25, for a quick reference to compare the noise levels. You can see the jittering and motion blurring happening the moment we started a jogging movement. ISO 12800, 1 over 50. At 1 over 50 shutter, the jitter and motion blur is less prominent. We are starting to find the baseline reference of what to expect in our shots with the DJI Osmo Action 4. And this shot, we test to see if it's less motion blurring at 1 over 100. There are some reviewers cited that it's better to go higher shutter speeds for the EIS to work better. But this test doesn't seem like the jitters got better at 1 over 100 shutter. We need to conduct further tests and explore working at 4K 50p frame rates. We start to play with the custom settings and tweak the sharpness and noise reduction levels. ISO 3200, 1 over 25. Sharpness, minus 1. Noise reduction, plus 1. We started to run and try to make the jitter more obvious. Check out the image quality when the noise reduction is increased. If we do continue to own the camera, our next series of tests will likely be with the rock steady feature turned off. But it is unlikely that we will be getting another DJI Osmo Action 4 after this incident with bad service and support. This incident is making us think twice about buying the Pocket 3 in the near future. ISO 12800, 1 over 50. Sharpness, minus 1, noise reduction, plus 1. At ISO 12800, we are actually surprised that with noise reduction increased, the image is actually quite decent and usable. ISO 12800, 1 over 25. Sharpness, minus 1, noise reduction, plus 1. ISO 12800, 1 over 25. Sharpness 0, noise reduction, minus 2. Just for comparison at how the noise reduction works. At the same ISO 12800, with noise reduction at minus 2, observe how grainy and noisy the image is now. ISO 
ISO 12800, 1 over 50. Sharpness 0. Noise reduction, plus 1. We switched back the noise reduction to plus 1 for comparison. The noise levels is suppressed significantly, and the image seemed to be softer as well. This is something that we might consider using in extremely low lighting scenarios. And finally, our last shot in this test. ISO 6400, 1 over 50. Sharpness 0, noise reduction 0. We hope you find this ISO test useful on the DJI Osmo Action 4 camera. It allowed us to understand the camera's response better when deploying it for work. Till the next video, thank you for watching.